Thanks for watching our next video. We are the Piano Solutions Piano Workshop and today our subject is going to be rebushing damper rail guides. What it means? Damper rail guides is a piece of wood with the holes that direct uh, motion on the dampers. Uh, in these holes they create the bushing with the soft material and uh, when the dampers goes up and down it's just control the position and beside this bushing is very very uh, involved in the muting the sound of the string because when the damper touch the string then energy goes through the bushing to all this uh, solid piece anyway uh, why we rebush them because they will wear and that's why we just clean the holes and uh, we're going to put in new bushings uh, it's going to be soft material, it's actually it's going to be felt. Before this I want to show you how the felt act anyway, and or any soft material. Like for instance, if you want to rebush this hole, the first of all you measure it, you use whatever, just a um, caliber, it's going to be like around 68 uh, millimeters, and using uh, the famous equation for circumference, it's a uh, uh, multiplication of diameter with a number pi, this is approximately this one. You can calculate the circumference of this hole. And like I told you, it's 21 centimeters. And of course, if you use, let's say you want to put a bushing from the piece of paper, and because it's, the thickness is really small, that's why, of course, you can definitely put it inside this uh, hole, 21 centim centimeter, like if you pull it through our hole, and, uh, you can see it just covers, it just covers exactly on 20, 21 centimeters, right, like this but it's got no thickness that's why you can use this uh, circumference numbers like 21 centimeters but if you use let's say the piece that got thickness and it's not a re it's a rigid it's not a flexible uh, you not be able to pull it through this hole it's stop in a certain direction like this and that's it no more because uh, it's not a flexible piece but if you use the piece from foam, like flexible like this, you're able to uh, get it through and create the nice bushing, like as I show you, like that. As you see, it's create a nice bushing. What's happened here? Of course, uh, the outside diameter is 21 centimeters. Uh, feel it nicely. But inside the uh, uh, diameter is definitely compressed. But it's uh, uh, possible to do the bushing with this material because it's flexible. Similar, we dealing with our uh, felt. Uh, like uh, uh, we're going to use this felt, uh, one and a half millimeter thickness, and uh, we use it in our bushing uh, process. Uh, let's make a little bit calculations. For these purposes, I uh, prepared the hole that it's exactly 10 millimeters diameter. I use the 10 millimeter bit and I drill it and it's exactly 10 millimeter. If you use this equation for tw uh, 10 millimeter diameter, you get uh, 31 uh, millimeters of circumference. And let's say what's happened if we uh, use 31 millimeters felt in a th uh, wide and you see uh, when I pull it through this hole, it just worked nicely but you able uh, to put an even wider felt because it's uh, uh, can be compressed I can put 35 millimeter uh, like that 31 millimeter pull it. It takes a little bit more force to do it, uh, but the bushing become more concentrated. It's more firm, and that's uh, that's a good for for bushing. Uh, this 35 millimeter and even 36 millimeter can work, 
but if we try to do it uh, like 38 millimeter, let's say, I want to pull it like this, then it's collapsed, you see? It's just like uh, goes on each other. That's why it's the limit, you cannot use it anymore. Uh, but in a range of uh, like two, three millimeters, you can use uh, the strips for bushing. And uh, uh, let's uh, actually uh, get to the real work. Uh, now we understand already what we have to measure and how, what we use for measurement. And we use the, uh, the rails for our piano. I just uh, first you measure the diameter. You just use different bits. If you take several and try to get the one that goes firmly. Well, this is a big one. And uh, the one that I already select, it goes really nicely. And uh, if, I, if I measure the diameter of my bit, it's going to be 6 millimeters. It's a 6 millimeter bit and it's a 6 millimeter diameter of the hole. And of course, if you uh, get our circumference, it's going to be around uh, 18 millimeters and uh, we can use 20 millimeters. That's why I prepare this uh, strip and I'm going to uh, uh, try to uh, bush my rails. And uh, for these purposes, you see, I designed a jig. I just want to show you how it's designed. On a platform from the plywood, it's two blocks. and a piece of uh, aluminum uh, that uh, I mount here my damper rails like this and use one clamp just to hold it in a position like this. That's why it's make it firm and I can pull uh, my strip through the hole. I did already a couple uh, but uh, let me show you how I do it here. Once I uh, pull it through, it goes around the hole and uh, it's not collapsed, it goes straight. And uh, I want to just put a little bit high glue here on the edge that later on when it's dry, it holds it. And that's the glue that you can use. And I make a special just like uh, that is hold the glue and a piece of wood like this. And I just put slightly glue, I pull it, I leave it like 116 on another side, and using, of course, my uh, razor blade and a holder, I cut it. And, uh, of course, you don't have to put anything inside, because it's, I calculate already, and uh, uh, later on you can use the reamer, uh, something, just some sticks or whatever you want, just, but uh, definitely it's done already. You can use it later on on the piano. That's how you have to approach to this very important thing. We call it uh, uh, install the bushing and the damper rail guides. And uh, of course you, you can use different types of felts, but it's always going to be your equations, your measurements, and of course tests that you make several of them to see which piece is still working for you. Thanks for watching and we wait uh, for you next time. All the best.